Hey, everybody. Dave Basulto back at NAB Live 2011. Um, here with Ellen Wickstead, my good friend from Adobe. Um, better way to end the show with having you on it. Um, we've had a great show, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, be prior, let me just say that. I want to say thank you to Adobe, to uh, uh, Maxon, to NVIDIA, and to Telestream for being the sponsors of the show. It's great as always. Um, Alan, uh, tell me your title because I know you're like <laughs> your co-chairman of the world now, and, and, and uh, but you, I know you got so, a big promotion, so um, I'm really happy for well, you. Well, I'm the senior product manager for Production Premium, and I share product management for Adobe Audition right. uh, with one of my colleagues. So I mean, because I know you were lowly After Effects, or you know, just and then moved up the ladder like that. So well, I, I, that's great. I, I wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't say that. I, I love my job. Okay, good. I'm very blessed. You're, you're yeah. de dedicated. I love that. Um, so yeah. we have a nice release at CS 5.5, yep. um, continuously showing people how uh, Adobe is just committed to the filmmaker world, mm -hmm. um, it, just the workflows you have. Um, let's talk a little about that. Sure. So we announced CS 5.5 on Monday, mm -hmm. and uh, we are delivering major updates to After Effects and Premiere, mm -hmm. and uh, we're also bringing Audition CS 5.5 to the Mac for the first time. Huge news. It's um, and very you, good. Speaking yeah. last night at the dinner, um, I talked to some of the people, they talked about a massive amount of downloads of Audition, right? Yeah, so we had a pub, we put a public beta out mm -hmm. uh, back in November uh, to give people a chance to play with right. Audition for the Mac and kind of you know, see whether they liked it or not. We had more than 36,000 downloads wow. in just four short months. So really popular. And we believe that there's a big sort of opening on the Mac side. There isn't really anything like Audition. Nothing. And I think the combination of the real power and quality that we deliver with a very fast, very modern architecture right. is, it's a it's a compelling tool. And we're getting really positive response. I mean, I, I've been, Beta, beta testing Premiere Pro forever, and, and I, I actually just worked on a course that I can't discuss yet, but I'm going to have some tutorials very soon. And um, going in out of Premiere and into uh, Audition is so easy, and you can bring over a pre video preview, uh, do all your tweaks in it, and then rend you know send it back out over to uh, Premiere, and it's so easy to do. Yeah, and we also we made a lot of improvements to Premiere this mm -hmm. time around. Yes. So uh, in CS5, we introduced the Mercury playback engine, and that combines 64-bit uh, native support, which we've had for over a year now, uh, with a bunch of under-the-hood code optimizations mm -hmm. to improve performance. We also added um, GPU support. Right. So we support uh, now 20 different uh, GPUs from uh, NVIDIA using the CUDA technology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what those allow you to do is really offload a lot of the playback right. uh, to the GPU. And it's the performance that we're showing is just enormous. And one of the things that we, so it was great in CS5. Right. And we made a bunch of improvements, particularly in the playback for DS LR footage oh, yes. and uh, red footage right. and um, also for any timeline that mixes different formats. And I think what that really highlights is the fact that we have um, kind of really awesome right. native file-based media support. So whether you're working with XD Cam or P2 it's or right, Red, yeah. um, we're adding Hodge native Hodge, support yeah. for the new Red Epic right. in CS55, um, DSLR cameras. You can bring it all directly into Premiere and After Effects without transcoding or rewrapping. Ever. Right. Ever. You yeah. just, you know, back it up and you're good I, to I edit. I think one of the demo so. assets that I had um, was uh, four uh, pieces of Red yeah. and playing it just constantly in the timeline, and it was like no problem, no problem yeah. whatsoever. One of the things that's really new this release is that some of the new GPUs that we are mm -hmm. supporting are uh, for mobile device, mm. mobile right, systems. Right. So mm -hmm. um, for people who are editing out in the field mm -hmm. um, with some of the new HP laptops and you know some of the new CUDA cards, mm -hmm. I, I, I the, the performance is astonishing. It's been really huge. Yeah, yeah, and I think one of the other key things is that we um, also are in our booth mm -hmm. here at NAB um, showing Premiere right. um, and a Thunderbolt RAID. Right. And it, it's... <laughs> That's I'm excited about that because I have a brand new... It's beautiful. I have a brand new uh, MacBook Pro and I've been dying yeah. to plug Thunderbolt things into it. Yeah. So I saw some yeah. cool stuff here and at the show. And we all know, you know, there'll be more and more Absolutely. devices and they the performance that we're seeing in Premiere um, with the Thunderbolt technology is just... It's, it's fantastic. A couple of big... I mean, for me... Uh, uh, Keyframes in the timeline, huge time yep. saver for the workflow. Time is money, as you know, yep. people. 
Um, what else? Got a, a Let's new not forget media about encoder. Oh, well, well, the new media encoder has yep. a new look, watch yep. folders, yep. A, new, a ton of new presets. Yeah. Um, so a lot of big, the workflow is just awesome. Yeah. But let's talk about After let's Effects. Let's talk about After yeah. Effects. Um, so one of the key new things that we've done in After Effects this release is introduce the warp stabilizer, okay. which is, um, it's magical. Right. It's just, it's really amazing. So what it basically does is um, throw up a cloud of track points mm -hmm. and track the clip, and mm -hmm. it does that automatically, and it does it in the background so that you can continue working on other things in After Effects while the analysis is wow. going Wow, so it's in the background. It's I in didn't the background. know that. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. In the background, that's... so you can keep doing your other work. So um, it'll analyze each frame mm -hmm. and uh, look forward and backwards, and it sort of looks at how much pixels are moving, and it's able to both stabilize and um, uh, use what we're calling the warp, uh -huh. subspace warp, to um, selectively um, stabilize and correct some of the parallax mm -hmm. artifacts. And the, the result is um, beautiful. I mean, it just is fantastic. And I think it really shows how much we're paying attention to DSLR workflows right. in particular right now, because those cameras are notoriously hard to stabilize, and you want to keep the form factor small so you can be inconspicuous right, right, right. while shooting these gorgeous images. That's the thing, yeah. And you know, what you're able to do with the warp stabilizer is make it look like you were shooting with a crane, that, or oh, a dolly, awesome. wow. or you know, if you're doing an interview and you're handheld, mm -hmm. you can actually lock the shot off and um, we've introduced some other stuff in that. Mm -hmm. um, so sort of you can scale it up automatically, that's the default option. But for some clips, we have the ability to um, synthesize the edges, mm -hmm. which is kind of like content aware fill. Wow, for the edges. that's really cool. And you know, again, it doesn't work on absolutely every right. clip, right. but the ones that it works on, it's, it's genius. Amazing. Yeah, it's really, it's great. So that's we're really excited about that, but of course that's not the only new thing in After Effects. No, we well. have um, new options for light fall off, so that light in After Effects comps um, behaves more like light in the real world. Wow. We also have a new camera lens blur effect mm -hmm. that is fully keyframable, and what's nice about that is that it allows you to control um, the you know characteristics mm -hmm. or to mimic in post production the physical characteristics of lenses. So you can actually get beautiful bouquet patterns mm -hmm. and um, and control the iris characteristics. Right. So you can you know make a nonagon or a triangle and wow. change the roundness. It's it's beautiful, and of course it's both keyframable when you apply it as an effect. It's also um, an After Effects camera property now so and some people might who might not know who are uh, new to after, uh, after effects or premiere you can go from premiere dynamic linking into after effects yeah. do all the stuff she's saying and just go back into premiere it'll be updated in your timeline so yeah that's the, the workflow is, is really slick and you know one of our key areas of focus mm -hmm. is making sure that we make the workflow as friction free as possible yep. so you know being able to move smoothly between premiere and after effects you know is something that we get really positive feedback from our customers about because it saves them time and mm -hmm. it makes it really easy for them to up level the production values of their projects and right. to do that um, on really compressed schedules and to do things you know at, you know on lower budget projects that previously were really only possible for really big budget production so I mean talking about um, micro budgets and uh, and uh, successful things um, we at the dinner last <laughs> night we were near Gareth Edwards who uh, originally um, I met him by watching his uh, course he did on when he did uh, was it Attila, Attila the, the Hun, Hun class yeah where he had like 256 effect oh, shots and yeah. did everything I took himself that, class too. that was great wasn't it, <laughs> it was, yeah. and it's inspiring to me all the time if I ever want to do like a massive horde of people attacking yeah. me I know how to do it now yeah. but so and then from there we're going on to do monsters and just doing mm -hmm. everything in the production studio it's um, it's a really premium. it's a heartwarming i mean yeah. it's an inspiring story and i i really you know, Gareth is just enormously talented mm -hmm. and, you know, and so modest. And I just love the idea that, you know, he's just like, you want to make a movie? You go make a movie. Mm -hmm. And it just really, um, I think it's really, you know, he's able to show what's possible. Right. And it's just, you know. I mean, that's, what, that's what I love. Is yeah. People can't say, oh, I can't do that. That's too, yeah. oh, yeah, well, he did yeah. it, you know. And I think it really shows, you know, that with um, commodity mm -hmm. hardware mm -hmm. and off-the-shelf desktop tools, you can make anything. And that's, 
you know, that's enormously empowering, whether you're a student starting out or, you know, a professional who's used to working on big budget projects, mm -hmm. but you're looking for ways to streamline so that you can get closer to, you know, realizing a creative vision that's very personal right. without necessarily as much overhead. And I really think it's, um, you know, it's a, we're at a really interesting point. We and, are. Oh, yes, um, we are. We're it's. I. I feel like I have the best seat in the house. You do. You absolutely <laughs> do. Um, another uh, client of yours, uh, or user, I should say, uh, uh, from Social Network. Yep. Um, and, and what's his name? One more time. Uh, Tyler Nelson. Tyler Nelson. Yeah, he yes. Was, um, he was the assistant editor, but he. That, that sort of doesn't really I do agree. justice yeah. to what he did. Um, so they actually used After Effects to do all of the conforming and mm -hmm. finishing um, for the movie and really um, introduced some very interesting, innovative workflows. And, you know, David Fincher is, you know, he's a big, you know, he's an A-list director. Yeah. And, you know, and I think what's interesting to me is that he's looking for ways to, you know, streamline and simplify right. the process so that he can really focus on telling great stories. Mm -hmm. And I think at the end of the day, you know, that's what inspires me, and I think that's what inspires our customers. And right. I know that at Adobe, we're really working hard to, you know, listen to our customers, make sure we know what they want, and really deliver solutions that, you know, solve practical problems mm. that, you know, result in better media for all of us. No, to I totally agree. So, uh, so Premiere, Audition, After Effects, then yep. we've got Encore. Yep. Um, any new upgrades with Encore at all, or just, just a solid yep. uh, exporting tool, yep. so I mean, to make Blu-ray, you know, everything, so. Yeah, I think one other thing that is um, worth highlighting in this release is the fact that we're introducing a subscription model. Oh, okay. Um, which is a, I didn't even a, know that. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a new way to buy okay. um, many of the Creative Suite products. So Great. Um, this is it applies to all of the suites and to some of the point products. So mm -hmm. you can actually get a subscription for Premiere or After Effects. Oh wow! And um, just you know use that as a lower um, price point for entry. And what's nice about it is that it gives you the option to sort of you know, pay for the software when you're using it. It provides a nice option for, you know, smaller facilities as freelancers come in to be able to ramp up and, you know, have them be able to work with our tools and only pay for them when you're actually using them. So you say, I just want to use, um, we're going to be on this movie for three months, I need yep. After Effects for, wow. Yeah. And, and is it what, for all the tools or um, what? So, for, um, so production premium, uh -huh. of course. Okay, and so everything in there. Okay. Yeah, Photoshop, After Effects, uh -huh. and Premiere as okay. well. So not all of the tools, um, you know, this is our first time out right. and it's um, through Adobe.com only. Okay. And for the shrink wrap, you know, product right. only. So, wow, that's um, fantastic. yeah, it's great. And, you know, of course, we have fantastic mm -hmm. education pricing. <laughs> Those, I mean, I tell my kids all the time, ideas, so. like, you know, they love the software. Yeah. And in fact, I've had a lot of, uh, of parents pick that up for them because they just see that it's a great, yeah. we have Photoshop, you have this, you have Illustrator. Wow, okay, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's a great prices for kids in we're, school. We're really excited because I think, you know, if you look in aggregate at mm -hmm. what Adobe is doing with the CS55 cycle and, you know, the vision that we have, we have a very, um, a very clear vision for where we want to go and we're delivering on it. You know, we're innovating very rapidly. It's just a year since we introduced CS5 right. and we're coming out with some really major enhancements. Mm -hmm. um, we've publicly talked about, you know, moving to a cadence where we have major releases every two years mm -hmm. and kind of dot releases in between. Oh, that's so great. Um, on an annual cycle and we, you know, what we've heard from our customers is that, you know, for some people, you know, we're delivering stuff too fast, mm -hmm. and for other people, they can't get it fast That's enough. That's kind of, I'm the, I'm the, I can't get it fast enough, but I love yeah. it. Yeah, so um, we're really, you know, coming up with a solution that allows us to, you know, continue to innovate really quickly and get really great new solutions to market. Okay. And get them in people's hands, but if, you know, if that's too fast for you, then we, you know, we'll be coming out with more great stuff. More great stuff. And you guys are constantly listening to people in the yeah. forums yeah. and the beta testing. Yep. I know you guys are great at that. So yeah. we, that's it's, it's a critical, it's critically important because right. if we, you know, it's just critically that's important. Great. It's like <laughs> preaching to the choir. Of right, course, right. you have to of talk course. to people, know what's working, what's not. So. Well, thanks so much, Alan, for being on the My show. Pleasure. Thanks and, for having um, us. Adobe CS 5.5, new release. You check it out at adobe.com. I'm, of course, going to do a ton of tutorials, and I just love it, so it's great. great. Thanks for being thanks. on the show. Great to see you. Okay, and from NAB, we're gone. Uh, we'll see you guys next year.